Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang Solving Systems of Linear Equations by Graphing. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so far ay meron na akong introduction to systems of linear equations kung saan diniskas ko doon yung iba't ibang types of systems of linear equations such as consistent, inconsistent, and dependent systems of linear equations. So, ang goal natin for the systems of linear equations ay mahanap yung solution doon sa systems of linear equations. So, bale, meron tayong tatlong case na kinonsider doon. Either meron tayong one solution, o yun nga consistent systems of linear equations, either we have no solution, or yung graph niya is intersecting lines, or yung systems of linear equations that has no solution, which is tinatawag natin inconsistent, or yung graphs are parallel lines, at we have the dependent systems of linear equations, kung saan it has infinitely many solutions at yung graph ay single line lang. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano hanapin yung solution or yung point of intersection ng systems of linear equations by graphing. So, to solve a system of equations means to determine all ordered pairs of real numbers that simultaneously satisfy all equations of the systems. We can find the solutions to any system of equations with two variables by. So, meron daw tayong iba't ibang ways to find the point of intersection of the systems of linear equations. So, yung una, graphing its equation and finding the coordinates of the points of intersection of the graphs. Two, using the elimination method. And three, using the substitution method. Okay, so meron tayong method by graphing. Elimination and substitution. So this time, ang magfocus tayo ay solving systems of linear equations by graphing. Okay? So ito yung mga steps para magsolve ng systems of linear equations by graphing. So steps in solving a systems of equations by graphing: one, graph both equations on the same coordinate plane. You can use a plotting points, b intercept method, c slope and y intercept method. Okay, so syempre, dahil graphing, igagrab natin yung dalawang linear equations dun sa systems of equations. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng plotting points, intercept method, at slope and y-intercept method. Which is, naturo ko naman na sa inyo dun sa mga video ko sa about linear functions or linear equations. Okay, so kung ninyo pa napapanood, ay lilink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Next, find the solution to the system as follows. A. If the two lines intersect at one point, the solution is the ordered pair that corresponds to the point. B. If the lines are parallel, the system has no solution. C. If the two equations have the same graph, then the system has infinitely many solutions. So, ito nga yung na-discuss ko doon sa introduction ng systems of linear equations. So, either meron kayong one solution or intersecting lines, Meron kayong no solution or parallel lines or infinitely many solutions or single line in graph. Okay? Next, if possible, check the solution in both equations. So, kung nyari, nakuha nyo yung point of intersection, let's say, 1,2. Substitute nyo yung 1,2 doon sa x at y ng dalawang linear equations at kapag nagsatisfy, therefore, proven na tama yung solution nyo by graphing. Okay? So, para may illustrate ang solving systems of linear equations by graphing, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, one, we have solve the system of equations by graphing. Okay, so meron tayong y minus x equals 1 and x plus y equals 3. Okay, so it's up to us kung anong method yung gagamitin natin sa pag-graph. So, try natin yung intercept method. So, hanapin natin yung x at y intercept. So, dito muna tayo sa y minus x equals 1. So, let x be 0. Hanapin natin yung y intercept. So, y minus 0 equals 1. Y is equal to 1. So, therefore, we have 0 comma 1. And then, if we let y naman equal to 0, hanapin natin yung x intercept. So, substitute natin si 
0 sa y. So, 0 minus x is equal to 1. So, negative x is equal to 1. Or, divide both sets by negative 1, x is equal to negative 1. So, therefore, we have negative 1, comma, 0. So, pag tinat natin, we have 0, comma, 1 is ito. Then, negative 1, comma, 0 is ito. Okay, so, okay, pag kinunek natin yung line, ito yung graph niya. Okay, so ito yung y minus x is equal to 1. And then dito naman sa x plus y equals 3. So, x plus y equals 3. So, intercept method ulit. So, let x is equal to 0. Therefore, substitute natin si 0 sa x. So, 0 plus y is equal to 3. Therefore, y is equal to 3. So, therefore, we have the solution 0, 3. And then, let y naman is equal to 0. Therefore, substitute that into 0 sa y, we have x plus 0 is equal to 3, or x is equal to 3. So, therefore, we have the solution 3, comma 0. So, plot natin, we have 0, comma 3 is around here, 1, 2, 3, and 3, comma 0 is around here, 1, 2, 3. So, so this is the line x plus y equals 3. So, mapapansin nyo, meron silang point of intersection. Saan? Ito, ba? So, anong coordinate ng point na yan? So, 1, 1, 2. So, 1, comma, 2. Okay, so check natin kung 1, comma, 2 ba yung talagang point of intersection ng dalawang lines. By substituting dito, dapat magsasatisfy. So, we have, sa so y minus x is equal to 1, substitute natin si 1 sa x sa kasi 2 sa y. So, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 1 is equal to 1. So, tama. Then, dito naman, sa x plus y equals 3, substitute ulit natin yung 1 sa x, saka yung 2 sa y. So, we have 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 is equal to 3. So, therefore, tama. So, therefore, tama yung solution natin na 1 comma 2 when we grab the two lines. Okay? Next, we have solve for x and y by using the graphical method. So, first, we have x plus y equals 5. And 2x plus y equals 8. Okay, so gamitin uli natin yung intercept method. So, let x be equal to 0 for x plus y equals 5 muna tayo. So, we have 0 plus y is equal to 5. Therefore, y is equal to 5. So, we have the point 0, 5. And then, let y naman be 0. So, we have x plus 0 is equal to 5. So, therefore, x is equal to 5. So, we have 5, comma, 0. So, plot natin. So, 0, comma, 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dito. Then, 5, comma, 0 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dito. Then, connect natin yung points. Okay. So, this is the graph of x plus y is equal to 5. Then, dito naman tayo sa... 2x plus y is equal to 8. So, we have, let x is equal to 0. We have 2 times 0 plus y is equal to 8. So, therefore, 0 plus y is equal to 8 or y is equal to 8. So, we have 0 comma 8 and then let y be equal to 0. So, we have 2x plus 0 is equal to 8. So, 2x is equal to 8. Divide both sides by 2. We have x is equal to so we have 4 comma 0 so 0 comma 8 is around here and 4 comma 0 is around here so let's connect the points so let's connect the point to form the line okay so ito yung graph nung line natin na 2x plus y equals 8 Ako okay, sa so mapapansin nyo, mayroon silang point of intersection, approximately ito. Or the point, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, comma, 2. So, verify natin kung solution nga ba yung 3, comma, 2. Substitute natin sa x plus y equals 5, we have, substitute natin sa x yung 3, tsaka sa y yung 2. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 5 is equal to 5. So, tama. And then, dito naman sa 2x plus y equals 8. Substitute ulit natin, 2 times 3 plus 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. 
is equal to 8. So, therefore, tama. So, therefore, ang solution natin by graphing is itong point of intersection ng dalawang lines, which is yung 3, comma 2. Okay? Next, we have solve the system by graphical method. So, we have x plus y equals 2 and x plus y equals negative 3. So, graph muna natin uli itong uh, systems of linear equations. So, using intercept method, we have for x plus y equals 2, let x be equal to 0. So, we have 0 plus y is equal to 2. Therefore, y is equal to 2. So, therefore, we have 0, 2. And let y be equal to 0. So, we have x plus 0 is equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2. So, we have 2, 0. Okay? So, pag pinat natin, we have 0, 2 is around here. And 2, 0 is around here. So, let's connect the points to graph the line. Okay, so this is the x plus y equals 2 line. Next, para naman dun sa x plus y equals negative 3, let x be equal to 0. So, we have 0 plus y is equal to negative 3. So, y is equal to negative 3. So, therefore, we have the point 0 comma negative 3. And let y be equal to 0. So, substitute natin yung 0 sa y. We have x plus 0 is equal to 3 negative 3 so x is equal to negative 3 so therefore we have negative 3 comma 0 so we have 0 comma negative 3 so around here and negative 3 comma 0 around here and then when we connect these two points by a line we see that this is the graph of x plus y is equal to negative 3 Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, wala silang point of intersection kasi parallel line sila. So therefore, wala tayong solution dito sa systems of equation. So check natin yung ratio ng mga numerical coefficient. So we have, dito muna sa x, di ba? 1 over 1 yan. So 1 over 1 or simply 1. And then itong y, 1 over 1 then or simply 1. And then itong constant 2 over negative 3. So, 2 over negative 3. Or negative 2 thirds. So, therefore, 1 is equal to 1 but not equal to negative 2 thirds. So, base dun sa video ko, di ba nag-satisfy dun sa condition na kapag yung first two ratios of yung numerical coefficients of x at y ay equal but hindi equal dun sa ratios ng constant, therefore, yung system natin ay inconsistent or yung graphs are parallel lines therefore no solution okay so therefore tama yung graph natin na no solution base din dito sa ratios of numerical coefficients okay next we have solve the system by the graphical method x plus 2y equals 4 and 2x plus 4y equals 8 okay so graph uli natin using intercept method so for x plus 2y equals 4 we have let x be equal to 0. So, 0 plus 2y equals 4. So, 2y is equal to 4. Divide both sets by 2. y is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, therefore, we have the point 0, 2. And then, if we let y be equal to 0, we have x plus 2 times 0 equals 4. So, x plus 0 equals 4 or x is equal to 4. So, we have the graph 4, 0. So, plot natin. We have 0, 2 is around here. And 4, 0 is around here. Then, let's connect these two points. So, this is the graph of x plus 2y equals 4. And then, para naman sa 2x plus 4y equals 8, let x be equal to 0. So, 2 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 8. So, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 4y is equal to 8. So, we have 4y is equal to 8. Divide both sides by 4. y is equal to 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, we have the point 0, 2. And then, if we let y be equal to 0, we have 2x plus 4 times 0 is equal to 8. So, 2x plus 4 times 0 is 0 equals 8. So, 2x is equal to 8. Divide both sides by 2, we have x is equal to 
4. So, we have the point 4, 0. So, plot natin. So, mapapansin nyo, pareho lang pala sila. So, same plot lang din. So, it, it is considered also as the graph of 2x plus 4y equals 8. So, mapapansin nyo, pareho sila ng graph. Therefore, base dun sa video ko about Introduction to Systems of Linear Equations Anong tawag doon? Dependent Systems of Equations Or it has infinitely many solutions So, kahit anong point i-assign nyo As long as magsasatisfy dito sa any of the two line solution yon. For example, etong uh, let x be equal to 2 So, solve nyo si y when x is 2 So, 2 plus 2y is equal to 4 so, 2y equals transpose 4 minus 2. 2y is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 2. y is equal to 1. So, etong point na to, yung 2 comma 1 is a solution. As well as, eto rin, yung iba't ibang points pa doon sa line. Kaya infinitely many solutions. So, therefore, by graphing, na-prove din natin na itong systems na to ay merong infinitely many solutions or dependent yung type ng system of equations. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video, solving systems of equations by graphing. So, madali lang naman siya as long as uh, marunong kayo mag-graph. So, yung ginamit ko lang dito lagi is intercept method. Pero, Pero pwede nyo rin gamitin yung plotting method at saka yung slope intercept method. Okay? So, so, ang mahalaga lang dito ay accurate nyo ma-define yung point of intersection noong dalawang graphs. Okay? For the next videos, tuturo ko naman sa inyo yung other methods, yung elimination tsaka substitution method. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.